today in Santa Cruz de Guanacaste, which is my county capital. We're gonna visit all of the important landmarks from the church to the bank to the park. We're gonna have some great conversations with people. And overall, I hope to give you an, a functional guide to knowing what's going on in one of these county capitals and how you as a foreigner could find enjoyment visiting these places that often get overlooked. Thanks very much for tuning in and Greetings from Costa Rica. There are tourism communities in the country and then there are the real Costa Rica towns. And especially there are 84 county capitals in Costa Rica. These are the centers of Costa Rica's 84 cantones as they're known in Spanish. And they're vibrant, amazing communities that I wanna help people understand. I'm happy to introduce my new video series today, Matt Hits the Town, where I'll be going on different small adventures to locations with the idea of giving you more information about getting out and about in Costa Rica, how you can navigate different situations, locations, etc. I've met a lot of people who move down thinking that, oh, I want to go complain to the mayor of Playa Tamarindo. That's not what you can do. There are 84 counties in the country, and the county government based at this level is the only government you find aside from the federal government. So here in Santa Cruz, we're standing in the park, or La Plaza, which is always going to be the center of a community. You do see plazas deportivas or soccer fields as the center of a lot of smaller communities but the plaza here in santa cruz is an absolutely perfect example of what you'll find in costa rica all of the the purpose is definitely to provide a community space for people to get together to hold events to do presentations to have fiestas more and more and more uh, they would have a stage over there for bands to play. You have a pavilion for other kinds of typical cultural events. And most of the important original businesses and structures in the community are on the plaza, including a building you will see in many Catholic countries, the cathedral here behind me in Santa Cruz. Importantly, if you're ever trying to navigate around a city with a cathedral in it, the main entrance to the church is always facing west, and that's the case here in Santa Cruz. I'm willing to bet that it's the case in every one of the church, Catholic churches in Costa Rica. So if you're lost and trying to orient yourself in a town, find the church and look at the door. I guess that's, it's getting less relevant now that everybody has data plans. You'll also see that most towns here have your classic idea of a main strip, and we're looking up it right now. Everybody comes into town on one main road and out on another. So really a lot of times you're turning in, coming down a main drag, and you're gonna see the majority of the businesses uh, along those thoroughfares. One of the awesome things about these county capitals is that Many of them still have a huge percentage of small family businesses. If you look at the signs behind me, yes, there are some mega international brands, but there are also tiny places like the copy shop. Uh, there's a watch repair guy up the way that's been there forever. There are three or four supermarkets that are all family run and local to Santa Cruz. So this kind of place can be an amazing opportunity if you want to try and support the local economy, avoid giving your money to huge brands, go to your municipal capital, the, the Cantons Center, and look for some of these amazing family, family businesses. Next, we will head over to the bus station. Every municipal center in Costa Rica is gonna have supermarkets, banks, government offices, they also serve as really important transportation nodes where you always have a couple bus terminals in any city. 
Uh, it's extremely easy to get around Costa Rica, uh, definitely by these public buses, because as I said, all 84 centers would have a couple of bus terminal options. From this terminal, for example, I can get all the way to San Jose for something like 10 or $15 on a bus that would leave every three hours from the station. I wanted to tell a great story that exemplifies uh, Guanacaste and the people here. When I first came to Santa Cruz 15 years ago, I had bought a ton of stuff and I was asking here at the Alfaro station what time the La Florida bus would leave. Uh, and it turned out that it wasn't for another four or five hours. And I had all of this stuff. Somebody heard me asking this question and said, hey, are you headed to Florida at 3 p.m. or whatever? And I, you know, I told him I was. And he said, look, I'm happy to watch your stuff in my store so that it's, you know, you don't have to wait here at the terminal for four hours. I totally left my stuff with him. I came back for the bus hours later and it completely worked out. This is a community place where pretty much everybody knows each other. They're all lined up for a bus that's going to the same tiny community. So your bus terminals provide cheap transportation throughout the country. Like I said, 10 to $15 to go all the way to the capital. In San Jose, you can get buses everywhere else. So really, if you don't want to own a car here and you've got time on your hands, you can bum around places like this, get a wonderful cultural experience, seeing real people, hanging out in, you know, places that are absolutely community centers at the bus stations like the Alfaro station here in Santa Cruz. As we drive around and you see the surroundings, you're gonna see a lot of rusted sheet metal. You'll see security fences. You'll see barbed wire and razor wire. I don't think people should interpret that as signs that any particular place is that dangerous. You know, Costa Ricans, just like everybody these days, get home and watch the nightly news at 7 or 8 p.m. and they see in San Jose there was this murder or that problem. And yes, everybody really tightly controls their security. And yes, you'll also see some building materials like that rusted sheet metal that looks like, you know, this might be a sketchy neighborhood. But the rusted metal is just the cheapest available uh, way to make a wall. And, you know, a lot of these security measures are done by people who live in neighborhoods that are actually very safe. Next, we're headed up to the municipality. La Municipalidad, or La Muni, the municipality building behind me, is the reason this is a county capital. You have your 84 local county governments in buildings that can often look as simple as this behind me. It's a two-story structure. I have a feeling they don't want us to film inside, and frankly, I don't think we have to go in there but there are five or six different offices. This can actually be a very easy place to get business done. You'll hear a lot of people complain 100% that this can be tough to navigate because they have some very outdated software systems, still paper records in many cases, and the municipality can be just uh, antiquated. But really, they've been improving in the decade that I've been doing business here to the point where a lot of the processes are now very simple. En un ejemplo perfecto de lo que yo decía, de que la Muni siempre es, eh, aquí está trabajando gente del pueblo y que aquí está trabajando bastante gente amable y abierta, Marcos Gutierrez, conocido también con, como Tato, Guarda de Seguridad aquí en la Municipalidad, ¿cierto? Muy correcto, exactamente. Él salió de la Muni saludándome. ¿Cómo está, Ana María? Pura vida, gracias a Dios. Ahí una vecina también, este... Um, no, vino a saludarme y ofreció su tiempo. ¿De dónde es? De el centro de Santa Cruz. ¿A, a cuántos metros vive de aquí? ¿O nació de aquí? 
Exactamente a tres kilómetros. Tres kilómetros. Ah, excelente. Kilómetros. ¿Y cuántos años tiene de trabajar en la MUNI? 16 años. 16 años. 16. Me, me imagino como guarda, okay, usted conoce, pero casi todos que entran y salen todos los días. Exactamente. Aquí conozco eh, casi al total de los funcionarios que trabajan para el pueblo y son del pueblo. Uh -huh para colaborar. ¿Y le gusta su trabajo aquí en la MUNI? Claro que sí. Conocemos muchas personas, extranjeros, vecinos de Santa Cruz que uno no conoce, entonces vamos teniendo muchas amistades y todo eso, entonces me gusta aquí el lugar. Sí, sí. es bastante bueno. Pues muchas sí. gracias por este, dejarnos hablar hoy. Este, Marcos Gutiérrez, funcionario de la Municipalidad de Santa Cruz, Guanacaste. Gracias y pura vida. Pura vida, <risa> sí. <risa> Ahora me conocen como sí. Pieles Raíces. Pura vida. ¿Cómo le ha ido? Ahí lo hablando. Primera vez que vengo a Santa Cruz en rato. Ahí sale, sí. Y todo, todos están diciendo, ah, anuncios, anuncios. Está viendo la propiedad, pero no, me está la cara. <risa> This is a stop that not many people are going to make while they're in their municipal center, but I just wanted to do it because I actually need to. We're here at the uh, agricultural center or the subasta. Over there is the county cattle auction. They would have a, uh, I think Friday subasta or cattle auction there, which honestly I've never gone, but as a people watching opportunity, that could be pretty cool. You know, it's everybody from the area bringing in the, the animals that they want to sell. I would imagine the people buying them are mainly sort of low-grade beef suppliers in the Central Valley. Um, like I said, this isn't a stop many people will make. But like if you want to raise chickens or ducks, goats, etc., uh, you can get all of your feed here as well as a selection of the best Western wear so that you can really blend in with the community. Okay, yeah. Now, I have, yeah, like, we, no, yeah, don't, don't.